that when we're still in this battle, because I literally just kick, click the button twice. <laughs> so let's go. Mega Evolution and Solar Beam. There we go. That went pretty well. Taurus. Um, now I'm gonna keep battling. I'm gonna use uh, Toxic, uh, the Toxic strategy, which uh, works very well for Pokemon that aren't aren't neutral to that are that are susceptible to poison. That was the word, not neutral. Damage by recoil. Damage by poison. I hit with the facade. Good luck, dude. Crit. <laughs> I was like, wait, that did a little bit too much damage. Use your whip light wisely, or else you shall be the one being whipped. Floor store, okay. Oh, there it is. Um, no, not really. I'm just moving through the paces because I kind of know how to do these things. Um, Mr. Mime. Throw out Carla to use, um, Shadow Ball. And hope that it doesn't have a Shadow Ball of its own. Or, it used... Barrier. <laughs> what are the odds that it's going to be using Barrier? Okay, I guess it didn't. Oh, of course. He was using the light screen to protect himself from a special move. I guess he doesn't have barrier. Okay. You know, uh, Sword and Shield still isn't out by the time uh, recording this. Eh, keep battling. And oh, um, okay. So here are a few Pokemon ideas that were kind of floating around in my head, and I'm like, oh, that would be cool. Um, if there was a Galarian Dawn fan that is a fossil Pokemon, you know, like, they make it a woolly mammoth, and then they, and they just, oh, because he has his own shadow ball. Uh, of course, it's slowed my, slowed my special defense. I saw that spoon creeping up. Um, what would we use then? Let's switch to Martin. My reasoning is that uh, we can use the um, we could use Bite, or did I evolve it? Did I change Bite into Crunch? Can't remember. Yeah, I did. By the way, uh, show of hands, who thinks that, um, 
that ice should actually be super effective against psychic. <laughs> I don't know why, I just feel like that should be a thing. Is it? Um... Nope. Yeah. Okay. Ow. Superpower. Uh, what is this? And can it be used by member of my team? It can. User attacks the target with great power. However, this lowers the user's attack and defense. Hmm. You know, if I'm going up against a normal type Pokemon, or like a rock type Pokemon, and I use that, I'm gonna want to only hit them once. And double kick was um not doing as much damage as I wanted to. Do I have any other ghost type moves? Can I sort by no I can't sort by type. Man, if only I could sort by things I actually care about instead of name. Uh, maybe. I can learn Iron, ta Iron Tail. And Dark Pulse. Okay, uh, one thing. <laughs> one thing. Um, Dark Pulse can be learned by Marowak. And I only need one of these fire type moves. And I feel like Flare Blitz every single time, it's always very risky, but it's worth it. Like, damages use are quite a lot, but may leave target with a burn. And most of the time when I'm using it on a, on a ice or, or grass Pokemon, it takes it on one hit. Mm. And Dark Pulse is that. Yeah. I might as well actually get rid of Flamethrower, because it's also a um it's also a special move. And the reason why I did that was so I can teach Iron Tail to Martin. Who I'm going to be using against uh, Bruno in the Elite Four because his flying type makes it so that I'm not as effective against uh, fighting Hit, uh, water for rock. And in case I really need it, I could use steel against them. Oh, hey, Onyx. <laughs> If you really want me to catch you, then sure. Really tall. Okay, I guess not. Just wanted to be in the way. Sure, I'll catch you. I just realized I was still on Ultra Balls.
fact I effectively wasted it too does not help. That's still yellow, so it's not like I was actually affecting anything. Okay, there we go. I really hope I could run into a Hitmonlee and a Rhydon, which are both spottable here. Uh, Ryd Hitmonlee only appears on floor two, so which is why I was actually hoping I could find it. Looks like that's not going to be a thing. Whoops! Didn't mean to actually use the other one. On your way on your way to the Pokemon League? Well, I'm in the middle of my patrol, but I bet a bit of encouragement from a beautiful police officer will help you. There you go. Oh, did she kill my Pokemon? Yeah. Blizzard. Uh, need to get that into there. So let's move this up. And in. Thanks for getting out of the way, Machop. I don't need you, so. Okay, that one. Huh. Let's see where this leads, though. Oh, here. Oh, it's Pikachu telling me that it's worried because Moltres is right here. PP Max. Um. Um. No, I'm gonna hold off on doing that. Instead, I'm gonna put. PP Max on Mega Drain. There you go. Don't worry, Alan. I understand you're worried, worried about the giant. Well, not the giant Onyx, but... I can't believe I actually got that. Yeah, Carla's at like 63 now because... Because leveling up just... Because Carla cannot be stopped when it comes to leveling. I was looking for you. Wait, what am I doing? Uh, let's give it a silver raspberry. And if that doesn't work, I'll throw a golden one at it. I think it's a little overkill to get this golden one, but... Ah, oh, dang it. 
um, getting a Rhydon here means I don't need to evolve a Rhyhorn. Which is great. Because uh, Rhydons take a very long time to level up. Okay, Nicholas is now 60. Now I just need uh, Penny and Martin. I might as well put Martin at the front for now. Not here. Ow. George. Scyther. Um. I like how each one of these are a different form of blue or like greenish blue. So they all, on my screen at least, all fade into the same color. So do you use Iron Tail? is actually very effective. Except for when it misses. Ice Beam. Uh, Marowak. Yeah, I'll keep battling. I'll hit it with a uh, waterfall. The rumors were true. So it was you who beat Giovanni. Yeah, sure. I could take credit for that. Man, that must be really upset. Oh. Hmm. I was supposed to fight her. Yeah. <laughs> I accidentally slipped right past her. Alexa. Dragonair. I have now seen Dratini and I have seen Dragonair. I just need to see Dragonite and that should be from... Uh, from the dragon user. Let's use Dragon Pulse so I can get extra damage. Uh, ice is also effective against Dragon types. Uh, let's just say that Martin right now is basically good against two of the three uh two of the three fighters switch uh i'll go with penny because she hasn't gotten a lot of action and Using a flying type move on this fighting Pokemon will be beneficial. There we go. 
I needed a crit as well. Not well, bad for you, dude. There it is. Penny's at level 60. Wiggly top. Um. Yeah, switch. Uh, let's bring up Nicholas. Wait, no. Doesn't actually have any poison type moves. Mega toxic. Should actually do more damage because it's part fairy. I don't get the idea of um psychic being strong against poison. Still kind of weird to me. But luckily, um. I'm kind of tanky when I'm in this, uh, when I'm in this state. Oh, so I mentioned in the previous uh, episode that my team is designed to basically cover as many bases as possible. And I wasn't, I wasn't... I don't want to say I wasn't bluffing, but the, uh, it's, there's a lot of things going on right now. Um, one of the things I wanted to do is I also wanted to not overlap too drastically with, uh, your rival who does actually end up having very similar Pokemon to you. Or at least to me. Nope. Oh, that's nice. She's able to see me from all the way across the room when... Not many trainers are able to do that. Water strong against ice. Eh. Landed a crit anyway, so I guess it doesn't matter. <laughs> there they are. Now they're all at 60. Arcanine? Yeah. You know, I feel really bad because my Pokemon get so overleveled that it actually gets kind of ridiculous. And it's not the fact that I was like grinding really hard, it's the fact that I overprepared for certain fights and it just kind of steamrolled out of control. At least we're getting a lot of Ultra Balls from this because they know that you're going to be grinding a bunch of them. One of the Chosen can pass here. 
Colby. Electrode. Hmm. You know, something I kind of realized, and this is actually kind of funny, of how it, how this came about, but a lot of the electric Pokemon in Generations um, in Generation One um, ended up having a lot of qualities that they associate themselves with steel, whether that's uh, Pikachu getting Iron Tail or. Um, Or uh, electrode being made of a uh, a Voltorb and electrode basically being defunct Pokeballs that are just possessed. Uh, yeah. To uh, to the mag uh, Magnemite line just becoming steel. It's really interesting because you kind of look at all of the electric Pokemon and you go, why is it that they're also associated with metal? Thunder Punch. Uh, keep howling. So I kind of just decided that these episodes are going to be a little bit longer because I need to fit in a lot more stuff. Uh, so this one might actually go to about 40 minutes actually. But my goal for the Elite Four is um, actually quite simple. It's no matter what, um, no matter what person is up ahead, have um, Nicholas be in front, throw out Stealth Rock that stays out for the entire battle, and then switch them out to whichever Pokemon is needed to. Uh, uh, I don't want to say complete the team. What's up? Marowak is gazing at the swaying flames. Huh. Oh! I know exactly what that is. Um, if you remember, there was an episode of, uh... There was an episode of the Pokemon anime where, uh, they were doing this torch race thing. And they had to carry the flame that symbolizes Moltres to a uh, pedestal because uh, it was supposed to be like the Olympics. And I think that flame is supposed to be that flame. Uh, I don't know if that was there before, but hey, I, I find the connection kind of interestingly strong. Yeah, I know, Pikachu, you're kind of worried. Uh, let's actually find where the switch is. It's like, yeah, it's all the way over here. This should open up the doorway that that is right above us. Okay, I wasn't right there. I was worried that there was a Pokemon that appeared right behind the lantern. Okay. 
Could you imagine if this Dawson guy over here um, was able to get into the Elite Four? Oh, Lickitung. Uh, we still haven't been able to catch you because you only appear in Cerulean Cave for some reason. Yay. Uh, let's use Ice Beam a few times. Power up, not a grass type move? Huh. I thought it was. Oh no, the like green light coming out. Uh, I thought it was a dead kid boy. Uh, keep battling. Yeah, so as I mentioned, like, I didn't want to have my team just be perfectly copying uh, my rivals. So there are several liberties I took, even though I really like um, uh, Mega Pidgeot, I'm not gonna be using it. Um, I should have switched out to, um, we actually haven't seen Blastoise yet. I've been trying to evolve my War Turtle, but it's slow going. Uh, let's hit it with Penny. I, I would have used Firo, but Firo, uh, it, in my opinion, just isn't as good of a bird. And having uh, Pidgeot on my team is saying like, hey, it's another um, uh, mega Pokemon I could potentially use. Hmm. Razor Wind isn't that good, but then again I was using a normal type move against a water type. I should have been using flying type moves on it instead. It's okay, dude. And you're giving me Pokeballs this late into the game. <laughs> they all just popped in. Full restore. Your Pokemon is so cute. Cute. I'm a coach trainer. Come on, battle me. Um, how about we actually switch up our party again? Uh, yeah. Hmm. Might have been an okay call. I always forget if Bug is super effective against fighting. Let's actually check. Nope. It's actually not very effective. Oh, I, I think I know why. Because it actually forms a triangle. Bug is weak to flying. Oh wait, no, flying is good against both bug and fighting. Huh. <laughs> Let's use Troll Run. Yeah, Carla just can't stop getting levels. Uh, Gyarados. Uh, yeah. Let's switch with Alan.
Arcanine uh, switch. Switch to Marowak? Uh, because Carla is ghost type, so I think the move it's gonna try to use is in fact a normal type move. Use Bone Meringue. Oh wait, Outrage is Dragon type. Two times and the first one was a crit. Let's use Dark Pulse. Dark Pulse instead. Hmm. Didn't do as much as I thought, but it's still a dark type move. I saw it coming. <laughs> that was fun. Outrage. Okay. You know what they say about cheerful folks like me? Don't want to get us angry. <laughs> sure, dude. Um. Which ones am I missing? I'm missing two? Eight. Twenty six. Yeah, it is dragon. I think I'm actually just missing about like three because I think there's because I think there's only 60. About 23. Huh, I thought there was actually something over there. There it is. The Indigo Plateau. Do our best. No champ in the making. At the uh, Pokemon League, you'll face the Elite Four. All in, all in a row. If you lose, you have to start all over again. This is it. Go for it. Can we get the first one? This is the uh, this is the Pokemon League, the most skilled trainers. If you go on ahead, you'll face the Elite Four one by one. If you win, a door opens to the next trainer. Good luck. 
Uh, right here is where we can buy items. Over there is where we can buy... Is where we can heal. Yeah. Oh, here's the guy. If you have an executor, I'll trade mine for it. Sure. Very proud of my executor. Two axemen. Sure, okay, axemen. And there we have a Lolan executor. Okay. The joke is that it's so tall that you can't actually see its head. Uh, so the reason why it's now a dragon type is because now it was now it's supposed to be a dragon fruit i guess ah it's amazing right in the far away alola region they grow up carefree so they get really tall yeah sure um bye hmm you're not the one heal uh, oh is it you everyone calls me madame memorial everyone knows that a pokemon as a pokemon learns as it grows you see I could also help Pokemon remember any of those moves you let go in the past. Help you recover the lost moves in exchange for heart scales if you have any. Um. Oh. Neat. Um, I might actually give it Sky Attack. Um, I'll definitely put over Razor Wind because critical hits land more easily, yes, but Sky Attack makes them flinch and it uh, has significantly more power. Okay, where is it? Uh, there's supposed to be someone here. Okay, one second, because now I'm actually concerned that I'm actually getting it wrong. Wait, no. Indigo Plateau. There we go. Is a mega stone seller in here, but I have no idea where they are. It's weird. Because you would think they would be in here. Hmm. Oh, only after I've defeated the league. Okay. That makes sense. Okay, so next time we're gonna be taking on the Elite Four. See you guys then.